The pandemic has put a dent in many people's financial lives, affecting their ability to save and stash away cash for retirement. Add the fact that more Americans are living longer, and the prospect of financial security and retirement for many is falling short. According to a 2019 report from the Employee Benefit Research Institute, about 40 percent of all U.S. households where the head of household is between 35 and 64 years of age are expected to run short of money in retirement. And since then, the pandemic has likely increased that percentage. My guest is Chris Koenig with Prime Capital Investment Advisors. Chris, welcome back. Uh, what are some of the factors influencing so many potentially running out of money in retirement? Yeah, you know, first off, I think there's a lot of factors, um, but one I think that's most important is really just a lack of education. Um, you know, and I'm not trying to put this on the shoulders of those who run into these problems, but in today in our communities um, around the United States, there's really a lack of education or financial education, right? You know, we grow up, um, depending on what school you go to, you know, elementary school, high school, college, there's not a lot of courses or anything that necessarily speaks to the average person and says, hey, how much do I need to save for retirement? Um, what are the different ways to save? You know, what's the difference between a Roth IRA and a traditional IRA? What percentage of my salary should I be saving? You know, what's the difference between investing in stocks or equities and bonds or crypto? Um, what percentage should I put where? I mean, most of these questions you sit down and I talk with clients and ask them those and, you know, sometimes they know I answered a few of those and sometimes they don't know any. And so I think the first thing we try to lead with is just a plan, um, just educating people on what the different options are, um, how much they need to save. Um, and if we start there, we can start to build a plan that really is specific to the client and their needs and hopefully sets them up for a very successful retirement. Now, how does longevity risk play a part in all this? Sure, yeah, I think that's uh, a lot of people's concerns um, as they start to age and retire. You know, maybe the health insurance they had disappears. Um, now they've got, you know, Medicare. Um, but that's definitely a big concern for a lot of people. And usually I start off the conversation as, well, how long do you want to live? Um, or if you could write down and tell me the exact day you're going to die, it's a super math problem. We can just figure it out and we can make those adjustments. Unfortunately, we don't know when that's going to happen. Um, and last time I checked, the oldest person living on Earth is 119 years old. So that's kind of our window, right? And so we need to look and make sure we have a plan um, because, again, if there's one thing that goes up every year like clockwork, it's health insurance. Um, I've never driven by a hospital um, and seen a, for, or a sale sign outside, 10% off health care today, um, because they don't have to. Um, health care is very important to us. Our longevity is important. Uh, we want to live forever. Um, unfortunately, we can't, um, but we need a plan. Um, and so, you know, a lot of people don't realize that, you know, you're going to live 20, 30 years in retirement. And I think a lot of people don't really actually think about that. And so how much money do you need um, to make it through those years um, and hopefully have a great retirement um, and have a lot of good um, fun and memories um, while you're in retirement as well? Chris, looking at the 4% rule, does that actually make sense now? I think it does. I mean, I think it's a great place to start. It's kind of a rule of thumb. Um, and what that means is, you know, based on your assets, you can easily pull hopefully 4% off of that a year without really um, taking money out of principal, right? And so your, hopefully your portfolio can recoup that each year. And so you really are spending maybe the interest or the gains off of your portfolio. Now, as we all know, there's great years in the market and there's down years in the market. So some things that can uh, definitely mess up your plan are things like sequence of returns, inflation, taxes. We don't know what those are going to be in the future. Most people would think they'd be higher. So a lot of things we need to look at. And so at the end of the day, you know, we can start with a plan, but it needs to be a plan that has buffers or has some elasticity to it so that we can make changes. You know, we, uh, if something happens, we'll re-examine it and fix it. You know, it's not something that's set in stone. Um, we can easily change it, and whatever comes our way, uh, we can tackle it and move on to the next problem. My guest has been Chris Koenig with Prime Capital Investment Advisors. This is Retirement News Online. Thanks for watching.